there's a whole rhythm to how you write. Each script has a, a different cadence to it and a different rhythm. And a lot of my work is very intuitive. I liken it to dancing on a page. Walking away from a steady job to pursue a passion is not a path many take. But when Leo Shalit was offered an opportunity to learn calligraphy from a world master, he took it as a sign. That invitation to study calligraphy and to step into being an artist was like just this very affirmative, you should go for it kind of moment. I had always kind of had a, a passion for handwriting and calligraphy was just something that I sort of stumbled my way into, but once I was there, it, it was the thing that I wanted to learn. Leo took what he learned and mixed it with his lifelong love of graffiti into a style called calligraffiti. So it's a, like a hybrid of a gothic calligraphy script with the influence that I had from writing graffiti. His work covers everything from object to wall paintings. But it's his murals that have captured the most eyes. I think the first mural I did was in a friend's garage and the things just kind of grow. I got an itch and I, I did one wall and I wanted to do a second wall. One of his best known murals was on the back of Seattle's legendary music club, The Crocodile. Usually with the murals, I'm trying to think about, you know, what's the neighborhood? Who's seeing this? What is the building that it's on? Are there colors that could tie into the place? And I try and think about if I'm going to be using words or a quote, something that might fit in that particular area. When the pandemic closed down business, a fellow artist asked for his help painting over the shuttered exterior of the Central Saloon in Pioneer Square. Things were boarded up and his godfather owns the saloon and he said, please just come down and paint something on it. You know, these boards look so bleak. Following your heart can be a scary move, but for people like Leo Shallot, sometimes you need to listen to the writing on the wall. I feel like I'm just getting started, really. I'm in the very beginning of my career, so that's exciting. Thank you, Jim.